It is the Sports Fix here on Flow FM, and it's time for us now to have a look at what's going on in River Murray football. And uh, joining me on the line, he's back, Big Bruce, to have a look at uh, the weekend that was some interesting games played. Bruce, how are you, mate? G'day there, Jace. And uh, look, there's all reasons to, to yell out the Friday night slogan of, oh, what a big week in River Murray football, because it was a huge week in River Murray football last weekend. And uh, look, we should get out the tape and play it from right back at round one in March. And uh, where yours truly tipped tail and bend to finish top of the ladder. And uh, look, I'm just a little bit excited at the moment with last week's result. Tail and bend come out and, gee, Imperials just didn't show up, did they? Well, no. Uh, they had a golden opportunity, Imperials, to go back to, well, well, at least equal top of the ladder with Jervois, who had the bye, of course. But tail and bend, uh, they'd been a little bit off the bit uh, through the, the early part of the season. Uh, an opportunity for them to join the uh, the big two in the race for either the minor premiership or the uh, the second spot on the ladder, and they delivered finally, Tail and Bend. Uh, it was a good win for them. Yeah, it certainly was, and uh, they were in control pretty much after quarter time. I think what won the game for them was uh, that second term where they smashed on seven goals and Imperials failed to score. And they scored one point and at half time. It was good night. 13 4 to 7 5. Didn't get any better. Third quarter, 16 7 to 9 13. And in the end, 21 10, 136 to 9 17, 71. The margin of 65 points. And uh, look, Tail and Ben named as their best player, Connor Smilton. Why not? He smashed home uh, eight big goals and he was a big major factor in his best game for the season uh, with that win. Dylan Hogarth, who's one of the uh, stewards of Tail and Ben in amongst the best with young gun Lockie Thomas and uh, good to see Robbie Young in one of his probably equal best game for the season amongst the best players. I think we haven't seen the best of Young yet. Uh, Clay kicked four, Young kicked three and uh, as we said uh, at the top there, um, uh, Smelt kicking eight for Imperials. Well, it was a uh, dirty day out to on their home ground and uh, that's what makes this win even better. Tail and Ben travelling into the hub of the world of Murray Bridge and knocking off the Blues at home. They named Cole Dace in defence as their best. Wayne Wilson on ball everywhere. Luke Harrifield uh, on ball or across half forward. Uh, goal kickers for for uh, Imperials. Well, what I noted in this game in the goal kicking department was uh, the leading goal kicker Johnny Boris originally just didn't have a goal but uh, there must have been an error on the sheet and eventually he was edited and one goal given. So uh, that was a big factor in the game where Boris was hit well held. Now, I would assume that would have probably been, uh, probably um, maybe Joseph Rack, I reckon, would have been the, the instigator of that for Taylor and Ben or maybe even Daniel Perk. So a big factor in the game, Boris, just the one goal. Their major goals were, of course, Dwayne Wilson and Harley Montgomery on ball, uh, running forward with Daniel Gurdam, all two apiece. But a uh, great win for the Eagles. Certainly was. And uh, 15 goals to two after quarter time. Been a long time since Imperials have been treated like that, Bruce. Oh, certainly uh, right on the money there, Jason. Uh, really does put them uh, back instead for that top three finish, a double charge, which will be so important. And uh, look, who knows, uh, probably still a outside chance to uh, pinch the top spot, uh, which I would uh, dearly love with my uh, tips from the start of the year. You flow men there have been giving me heaps about. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, just a little uh, couple of drive-bys as we've been going along. But uh, uh, look, let's uh, let's talk about La Measure for a moment and what happened there. So, uh, Ramblers, uh, obviously, are, are going to miss the finals and likely to finish bottom. But uh, I think we all thought at the start of the year they were going to be way off the pace. Well, they're not. Um, they're probably five or six goal off the pace. Uh, and this result against Madam went a long way to proving just about uh, where Ramblers are at, but also where Madam are at. 11-11-77, Ramblers 6 8 I think that's a pretty accurate... Uh, reflection of where both clubs are currently at. Yeah, I think so. Uh, the third quarter uh, was where Man and won it. They kicked six goal two, and uh, Ram was just the uh, the two goal one, and that was a major uh, difference in the match. Um, the last quarter pretty even. Look, Rambless, we've expected them to get Polak's uh, week in, week out, but they are putting in some pretty good performances just with local talent. That's not a bad loss, just five goals to a side in the five. Uh, look, I've been told this is going to be Rambler's first time missing out of the five for somewhere around about uh, 20 years. And uh, I think it's the first time they've finished or look to be going to finish bottom for longer than that. So um, that is just an unbelievable stat to be at the top of the helm uh, in the final five for all those years. But uh, 
Look, um, man, they did what they had to do. It was a danger game, and they named as their best their new import, Matt Weestra. Uh, Bryce Jentz was also good on the uh, across the back line. Dylan Ribbons, uh, just a good ball carrier. Whilst for uh, Ramblers, well, Alex Pfeiffer just continues to keep keeping on. And uh, look, he had a great uh, interleague weekend, and he is going to be uh, one to watch. Uh, I think uh, I can't see him missing out on the SA Country Championships and really following in his brother Sam's footsteps, who's uh, uh, shifted up now to uh, the York Peninsula up that way. So uh, uh, great game from him. Jared Whalen, look, he can't say enough about Jared Whalen. He is just uh, there to teach these young ones now, and he's been at the club for many, many years. Uh, clocked up over 300 A-grade games and just an absolute uh, gun and uh, really slowing down now, but showing that he can still lead from the front in the best players. And Jacob Trevorrow also named in there. The goal kickers, well, for Manham, no real big major goal kickers, but for Dylan Ribbons, uh, as I said, running forward, kick three. And uh, Sebastian Quainy, one of their imports, he kicked three as well, whilst uh, J- Jake Keller kicked two for uh, the Manham side. And uh, for the losers, Ramblers, well, goal's a little bit harder to find, but a good effort by a young gun coming through. He's only about uh, 23, 22, 23, so footy really ahead of him. Uh, and uh, that was Bade Ellis, and he kicked three of those five goals. So that's a pretty good effort from the young gun there. Indeed, mate. Uh, so good performance in the end from Madam. Uh, they needed it. Meningi uh, continue to win, and uh, this result probably puts a line through my longer in the end. We thought they were a chance in this one, but uh, Meningi in the end, 10-16-76, my longer 7-10-52. I think they'll miss the uh, the finals now as well. Oh, I think the final five is set. So I can't see Maipo getting there now. Um, look, they did have a new player playing last week. As we said, a bit of uh, was on an AFL list in uh, Pat Conton. But uh, look, he picked up third best. He didn't uh, uh, manage to uh, get them um, uh, into any great heights of. Uh, I wouldn't say third best. He was amongst the best. He, uh, he didn't get. Uh, in uh, into the into you know a winning finals position at all, but uh, look uh, probably still got to uh, know the blokes and all that sort of thing. Time will tell, but uh, look, I think they still got an outside chance, but it's very slim. I can't see them doing it. We've said the five set for a few weeks. Meningi, well, they just uh, are the big improvers this year and ended up running out winners by twenty four points. They named as their best young gun coming through the ranks, Henry Turner, uh, one of their imports this year, Jack Holiday, having a great season as is Brad Thompson, another one of their recruits, and homegrown Peter Reichelt just keeps knocking up on the best player's door. Clint Walker also among the best uh, returning to the club this year after being at Ramblers and then a short couple of weeks at Mount Torrens at the start of the season. So a good uh, performance there by uh, Meningi. Uh, goal kickers for them, Sam Sanders, the colonel. He finished with four to be the multiple goal scorer. Uh, standout player, David Wilson kicked a couple. Walsh for uh, Mike Longer. They finished up with seven in the bank. Jack Wilkins having a pretty good season around the goals. Um, he uh, didn't uh, kick too many. He kicked a couple, uh, as did um, all singles being the rest. Uh, Gotch, Martin and uh, Smith, Housen and Elliot. So uh, they just really have missed a big goal kicking. You know, James Moss walking out of the Maipo club a couple of seasons ago just hasn't been replaced and uh, that's what they're missing. Just someone up forward to uh, take a big catch and finish it off. We will. uh, We'll talk round 12 of matches on Friday as part of the Flow Friday Night Sports Show. Bruce, great chatting with you again, mate. Uh, You enjoy the rest of the week. Thanks, Jay. Big weekend. River Murray footy.